What's up everyone? In this tutorial I will be setting up the plan views for my structural model. Up to this point I've linked the architectural Revit model into my structural file after I underlaid the first floor plan and established my main working levels. So the first items I'm going to take care of here are these additional views and plans that I don't need. When I created this structural model with the default structural template I had these views already established and I don't need this level 1 analytical plan, this level 2 analytical, this site plan, and this analytical model. So I'm going to go ahead and delete those. All right, now the second item I'm going to do is I'm going to rename my level. So my level one is going to be my foundation plan. My level two here is going to be my second floor plan slash mezzanine plan. I'm going to create another level, which will be my roof framing plan. So I'm going to rename this. I'm going to rename this with a number convention. The way this list of plan views is organized is either numerically or alphabetically. So if I were to call this foundation plan, it would be at the top, but then my roof plan and my second floor framing plan would kind of be disorganized because it would be organized alph alphabetically. So if I do it numerically, I have a little bit more control over that versus alphabetically. My level two, I'm going to rename I'm going to go to my west elevation, and this is the elevation that I use to establish my levels. You can go to any elevation view since I used this one and kind of cleaned it up. It's kind of a, a cleaner view to work with. I'm going to set up my roof framing plan view on this top of tower level. To do that, I'm going to go to the view tab and select plan views, and then select structural plan. When you select that, this window pops up and it gives you a list of levels that do not have a plan view associated. As you can see second floor is not on this list because there's a plan already associated with that level. You could tell that there's a plan associated with that level by this blue level indicator. This level marker here is blue versus level four. Top of roof wall and top of tower levels, those are black. So I want my roof framing plan to be at top of tower level. So I'm going to select that. By default, it names the plan view what the level name is. I'm just going to rename that. And here I get this pop-up asking me if I would like to rename the corresponding level and views. I covered this in the previous video when I was establishing my levels. I don't want my levels to match the naming that I have for my plan views. I like to keep those separate. So in this instance, I'm going to select no. I'm going to go back into my second floor framing plan view. I'm going to clean this architectural model up. I'm going to half tone and underlay it and clean up any unwanted tags. I'm not going to go into the details of what I'm doing, all the steps, um, because I covered that in a previous video. If you'd like to see how I did that, I'll provide a link to the video in the description below. All right, now I'm going to go into my roof framing plan view and do the same. All right, so I got my plan views renamed. I got my foundation plan set up. I got my second floor plan view set up and my roof framing plan set up. You'll notice on the second floor framing plan, when you zoom extends, zooms out pretty far. Same with the foundation plan. To fix this, I'm gonna use a scope box, but I'm not gonna cover that in this tutorial. So I'm gonna wrap this video up here. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button. If you think this video might be helpful to someone, share the video. And if you'd like to follow along with this video series, subscribe to the channel.